lighting and the fan noise. Uh, um, I'm in my bathroom. I'm just going to show you my um, skin routine that I do to keep my face feeling good and fresh and all of that. Um, so excuse the lighting, it is crap in the bathroom and yeah, and that fan noise because we have a fan in our bathroom so it's, it is annoying but and it makes dust everywhere, it's gross and I have to keep cleaning it all the time like every couple of days, it's really annoying. Anyway, getting on to it. So I use um, all Lush stuff, as you know if you watch my videos that I love Lush and I can't get enough of it. So I use, of course I use their face products and everything like that. Sometimes I so use Lush's Ultra Blend and you've seen it in one of my previous videos that I did a Lush haul on. So it's what it looks like there. It's a creamy consistency and it's a bit tiny, tiny bit gritty not intensely though so that's it there and it smells pretty much like nothing really it says it has beeswax and rose cream cleanser and I can kind of smell the rose in it so yeah I sometimes use that to get all the dirt and stuff off usually first off I usually when I'm wearing makeup I just use facial wipes. These are just from Kmart and they do a really really good job. I've got ones from the supermarket and they don't do as good a job as this. And this, these ones are apple scented which is nice. That Yesterday was the first time that I used the apple scented ones and they were surprisingly pleasant. Okay so next thing I usually use sometimes because I alternate between ultra blend and this. That is the Mova soap. So it, it kind of looks gross. And so that's what it looks like. It's like um so it's hang on I'll just read this five vitamin E rich wheat based ingredients to combine with something 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 sandalwood oil yeah clean skin clean leaving skin clean and soft yay getting better lighting this bathroom has no windows well it does that one but one window um so yeah it's got wholemeal bread in it sunflower oil and it smells okay i have used it before so yeah and i just take a tiny bit off and then just wash my face with it and yeah it leaves my face feeling really really soft afterwards and feeling really clean same with this the ultra blend so I just clean my face and yeah clean my face with it and it's like a kind of oily so it's probably not good for oily skin, I imagine. I have dry skin, so it doesn't matter. But since doing this routine, my face isn't being dry at all. So it's just been normal, which is really, really good, and I love it. And lately, I just got this yesterday, and I've already used it a few times. The um, Aroma, Aroma Toner Water, and it has... Um, uh, lavender I think in it and rose water so yeah and it's very refreshing I've heard you can use this combining ultra blend in this toner water to take off your eye makeup so putting on the ultra brand first and spraying your face and then wiping it off of course you close your eyes when you do that because if you don't that's just silly why would you do that so yeah this is what I use so I've been trying different um, Lush face masks I have this one the Love Lettuce and this is one that I like so far I've only tried two so can't really compare as much but I have used the um, Cupcake 
one and I didn't really care for it. I, it smelled like mint chocolate and like minty on your face. I don't, I like mint chocolate but to eat, not on my face I guess. Um, yeah, so this is what it looks like. I showed you in my previous video what it looked like. So it's like a green, a nice coloured green though. It's not as dark as what the camera shows it right now. So it's like a nice looking green. And I've noticed that you have to put on a bit of water with it just to make the consistency a bit thinner because it's quite thick and using a like foundation brush or a um, you know mask brush to put it on not your fingers because it doesn't seem to work that way um, I also have this that I use as hand and body lotion just the dream cream talked about it in my previous video and um, it's the number one lush product so I mostly use it for my hands there it is there. Mostly use it for my hands. I noticed I've had to keep this in the fridge also. Um, like I do love lettuce. Keep it in the fridge. Ultra brand, bland, I don't have to. Neither with Movis. But I've noticed that, that I've got to keep it in the fridge otherwise it'll start having a runny consistency. And once I put it in the fridge like it stopped that, it just went thick. So I recommend to keep it in the fridge as well as your, well you have to, your love lettuce or, or your face mask from last year, you have to do that anyway. So, also, when you have these and that, I already have an empty one here. This was Angels on um, um, Bare Skin. I don't really like Angels on Bare Skin, to be purely honest with you. So I chucked most of this tub out, like just in the garden. Well, it wasn't chucking it in the rubbish bin or anything. But you keep the, you clean them out and then you keep the, um, the pots so then you can take them back for a free face mask. It's kind of like Back to Mac where you take in six empty containers of Mac products excluding like limited edition for Mac um, and yeah, give them in and you get a free lipstick. This one you take, oh uh, here, bring back five clean full size lush pots or tubes and get one fresh face mask free. So yeah, this one's five empties and Mac is six. But yeah, so I'll just do a little demo on how I wash my face and everything. So on to it now. So I'm going to do, I'm going to show you all of them actually. So first we'll do some over soap. Okay, so I just pinch off a bit. You can use it whole though. So there. Then I put it under the water and just lather it up in my hands first. Now you do get little bits of of that um, bread whole meal bread on your face but that's okay and it does smell just like normal soap and then I like to get because I find that you know washing your face and you just make a mess everywhere so I like to get like a warm flannel and just clean it off the bottom just like that I have really good skin anyway, but um, I've noticed that blush has made my face better than what it was. So there, and it feels softer than what it did. So we're going to do some ultra blend as well. I haven't used both of them like at the same time when I wash my face though. So. There we go, ultra blend. You don't need much. I probably like that much and look how big the so you got heaps. So all around. Maybe need a little bit more just for my forehead. So yeah, I can feel those gritty bits. 
They're only like really, really fine. So that's what it looks like on. So, so if you have oily skin, I do not recommend um, Ultra Blend because it feels like it may make you break out or something. Or if you have acne prone skin. So with this one you do get like a hot flannel and wash it off that way. You can see. And then using my Roma toner water, just give it a spritz. Unless this is not really spritzy, it's more like, like quite intense. It's good, apparently this is good to just refresh your face if you're feeling like all hot and bothered and stuff like that. So, there we have it. And I'll do another video on the loveliest um, face mask. And yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Of course you, first or <laughs> before I go, um, when you spray the toner water you just let it dry so just dry 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 okay so i'll go now bye